Hello, this is James Berger with Bakersfield, California, and this is Off the Press, our political talk show. We're here today with Lee Vasquez, a candidate for the Kern High School District Board, Area 2. And uh, I'm joined today by, I'm going to correct a earlier uh, lack of my own. We're uh, joined by uh, uh, our education reporter, Harold Pierce, extraordinaire, Um, and of course my co-hosts, political science uh, faculty member from Cal State Bakersfield, Nicole Parra, and uh, <laughs> Governor Affairs consultant, Russell Johnson. And we've been talking to, to Lee about just pretty much everything to do with Kern mm-hmm. High School District, and obviously you're running for area uh, against the sitting trust- trustee, uh, Jeff Flores. Um, but uh, I, I guess uh, my my question to you is, is really uh, how, how what's next for you in this, this campaign, and what are we going to talk about uh, do we have any other issues before we go into that? Yes, I think Harold had a few issues okay. before we want to talk about All the right. campaign. Then and Harold, let go. That good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let's. I, I just want to, you know, walk back to something you said earlier. You talked about how obviously you're a longtime administrator with the district. You said that you think in this case being an insider is a good thing. Mm-hmm. Um, there's obviously has been a lot of allegations that there's some cronyism with the administration that the mm-hmm. administrators have somehow more power than the trustees that could override a lot of decisions. Um, in what way do you do you convince voters that being an insider yourself that you're the right choice for that district? Well, I've never been accused of being a crony, uh, and uh, and and, it's, and I think it's just because of my uh, my approach to to administration. I, I, I like to be very forthright, and I, you know I, I approach things head on, and. Uh, yeah, I've heard those allegations out there, too. Um, what I can say is that I have never witnessed it nor seen it personally, but I can tell you that we try to hire the best administrators that we can in the current high school district. We, uh, we've we done a pretty good job over the last over 100 years, and I think that we continue to do that. Is is there uh, room for improvement? Certainly. You know, you asked about the administrators having power over the board. Is, sure. Uh, you know, I haven't... I haven't personally witnessed that. I don't know. I, I've never thought that I had power over the board. The board is my boss. And uh, the, uh, the word or what is, uh, is desired by the board is, is gone through the chain of command where our superintendent will tell us when we're principals you know, what, the, what the board is looking at or uh, how the board wants to approach certain things. Uh, I don't see that an awful lot. You know, we really do worry mostly about the curriculum and what we can do best for those kids in the classroom. That has been my experience as a principal. I tell my teachers, we teach whoever walks through that door, and we give them the best education that we can. And that's what we've been doing uh, at the schools that I've been at. Sure. And, you know, I want to talk a bit about the uh, the Klutz misuse, those allegations as well. You were director of people personnel yes. at, at yes. that district 16 years ago. You said, you know, yeah. uh, a lot of these allegations say that these – these kinds of requests have been going back years and years and years. Mm-hmm. In your experience, what did you see there in, in terms of uh, these kinds of requests coming up? I mean, what was the the volume of requests? What kind of requests were you receiving for right. Klutz, uh right. background checks? I, I, I can be real honest with you because, yeah. you know, I, I, I remember specifically my training for, for Kletz. Uh, my training for Kletz was, Lee, don't look at the screen while we're on it. And that was it. And so as an administrator, you know, I knew that this was for the police department only. Uh, not from my view. Uh, I don't know uh, if there were requests made when I was the director of pupil personnel services. I'm sure there may have been, uh, but I don't believe that any of this was done because of wanting to get information, you know, on a, on a boyfriend or girlfriend or anything like that. I don't. I don't think that was done there. Could it have happened while I was there? Certainly. I don't recall that it happened when I was there. It was in its infancy. And so I think either the director before me or right at my time was when we had it installed. And uh, I was not aware of any of that taking place. But could have it happened? Certainly. Sure. Sure. And the district's obviously kind of wrestling with it right now, how to deal Mm -hmm. with it. They've hired a third-party investigator. There's no price ceiling on that contract. I mean, Mm -hmm. if you were a trustee in that position, how would you go about handling that situation? Would you do the same thing? Well, what I'm doing right now with my campaign is I have a price ceiling. (laughs) <laughs> because I, I'm not, you know, really a wealthy guy. I'm an educator, right? And so I do have a price ceiling, and I think it's I think it's prudent to to really w- know what those ceilings are. Uh, I think most of us want to know, you know, what, how much is going to cost. And I think every one of us out there, you know, when we go buy a car or whatever, what's out the door? Uh, and I think we need to know what out the door is. And so I think it would be uh, it would be it would behoove us to know what that price is. 
Sure. Sure. You know, you brought up, um, and first I want to thank Harold. You know, I was calling it Cletus, <laughs> but obviously it's Clats. So, you know, you obviously lose something in translation <laughs> from paper to yeah, uh, yeah. actually knowing what the acronym stands for. So thank you for correcting me. But, um, you, Lee, you mentioned that you've got a price ceiling on your campaign, and I know Nicole's going to probably fire at you a thousand questions about your uh, your plan to win the election, but... What is that price ceiling? Do you have a target? You know, you're like, I'm going to raise this much money and I'm going to spend this much money. What, what, what is that? You know, when, when we first were exploring the possibility of me running, uh, the, the feeling around town was, you know, you, you got to have $30,000. Mm -hmm. Wow, $30,000. I'm just a regular guy. How does a regular guy uh, get $30,000? Uh, you know, and without selling his soul. <laughs> and so I don't want to, I didn't want to do that. And, and so it's, it's, you know, we're a grassroots group. The, the biggest problem we're facing right now is just getting my name out there that I'm running for, for office uh, because I think the name recognition is, is there once they know. You know, you're, you're going to see it on, on the ballot. It says Labrado. Well, that's kind of a hard name to say, but it says Labrado and in, uh, in Astros. It says Lee Vasquez. Uh, and so letting people know that we're out there. Uh, that price ceiling we're hoping to get uh, through donations and you know the generosity of, of friends and, and people who know us and know what we've done in the past. Uh, and if not, well, we might not have that extra sign in front that we hope to have uh, because uh, really this, is, this isn't about money. I'm not a politician. I'm an educator. Uh, and I think that uh, not being a politician, that's, that's okay. I'm not, no, no slam on politicians, but I, I want to do something different with, with the current high school district. I, I want to bring this knowledge that I have to the rest of the board so that we can ask those insightful questions that need to be asked at times that aren't asked. And I think that I can bring that to the board. Uh, is the money an issue for, for a pro campaign? Yeah, we all know that. you got to have money. And so, uh, and, that, and that's the hardest thing for me to do is to ask friends for money. You know, It really is. I, I've never done that. So doing that now... And uh, a lot of them are saying yes. So I'm, I'm very blessed that way. What's interesting in this election cycle is that because it is a presidential year, mm -hmm. even if you had $100,000, to being able to fight for TV time or right, radio space right. and for people to even think about current high school district would necessarily benefit you know, a, a school a school trustee right. race. So you have that issue. But the other part is when we invite people to interview them about their campaigns, there's two types of candidates. There's the type of candidate that just doesn't get it, doesn't get the campaign, doesn't understand that. So you're not paying for the TV or radio or the fancy mm. four by eights, but a candidate also understands that you can do more with volunteers and donations yeah, exactly. and in kind. And if you're not the candidate that understands that, there's still a campaign. It's just not going to be as expensive or as costly as the one that you know others may run. But mm -hmm. just to be the candidate who says, well, I'm gonna just go on the weekends, maybe talk mm -hmm. to a few people, mm -hmm. or maybe phone bank, you know, that's not saying to your folks that, oh, I'm running a grassroots campaign. Mm -hmm. That is an idiotic campaign. Exactly. And so the grassroots <laughs> campaign that Tell you're us running. What you mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what do you mean there? Okay, so I'm getting to my question. Uh -huh. Russell's looking at me going, man, <laughs> where are you going with this? Is that, um, you know, uh, school board or trustee campaigns, they really have to be grassroots. They mm -hmm. have to be go to, you know, the supermarket, get the cardboard boxes and use that for poster paper, get your duct tape out, you know, people donating food, really getting your name exactly. and getting people to vote. Yes. Now that's your issue mm -hmm. is getting people in East Bakersfield to say, yeah, I might not vote for Hillary Clinton, mm -hmm. right? And I may vote in the congressional, but getting them to vote down the ticket, right. skipping maybe if they're, you know, they're looking at a judicial race or mayor's race, but how do they vote for the Vasquez name because the Vasquez family has done so much in the community? Mm -hmm. That's what you need to do. And so, mm -hmm. and so right. specifically, I get the Facebook and the social media, but you know, you need to be walking every day. Right. Your shoes, right. you need to be buying a couple pairs of shoes between now <laughs> and the next time we see you, yeah, right. you need to be 20 pounds right. lighter, right? Yeah. Is exactly. that what you're looking exactly. at? Exactly. We're, we're, 
out there now. We're, we're going to be at Fairfax on Saturday. They're having a big uh, uh, celebration. I think it's 150 years or something like mm-hmm. that. I'm a graduate of you know 1969 right. uh, Fairfax Junior High. So I'm going to be walking out there and just mm-hmm. introducing myself to people. We were at First Friday the other night. Mm-hmm. Uh, what a wonderful event. First time I'd ever been there. And I, I encourage everybody out there to go to this thing and support our, our merchants. Uh, it's just a, a really neat time to go out and meet people and mm-hmm. uh, introducing myself you know, and getting uh, the, uh, the support that and, and finding the support mm-hmm. out there that we're finding has just been really invigorating, and mm-hmm. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it is, uh, it is, it is different. And I, and and they, they ask me, well, how are you differently? I, I, you know, again, and I tell you, you know, I, I'm not a politician. The, the, the trustee positions have, have evolved over the years, and they're really becoming more of an entry-level position into politics. And uh, right now, I want to be a trustee. Mm-hmm. I have no desire to be a politician, but I guess I have to kind of be a politician mm-hmm. to run this campaign. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, so we're doing that, and uh, we're finding that uh, you know, a lot of my students who are now older and have grandkids and I'm that old uh, are, are very supportive and you know I've, I've been very blessed Nicole to have a really really smart college kids running my Facebook mm-hmm. and uh, you know they, they're volunteering their time and just getting that word out and we're really seeing a, a big boost in what what mm-hmm. uh, support we're getting right now. That's so. fantastic so yeah. I, I like the fact that you knowledge we mm-hmm. might not have the money but you really don't need it yeah. you need some for yep, sure, definitely. but you really need to do to be calling every day and mm-hmm. walking precincts right. and right. letting people know that you're on the ticket yep. and that's your name. Yeah. So you mentioned that you're gonna um, go out there and you're gonna run, and sometimes, uh, in my opinion, when you're running a race against, especially an incumbent, mm-hmm. you've got to create a contrast. You got to have a reason why you people should vote for you over the over the person sitting there. So how? What kind of contrast are you going to paint? Mm-hmm. What's the difference between you and Trustee Flores, who's been sitting there for, I think, two years? Because I think he was elected mm-hmm. in 2014. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Well, the difference is is that I know we can do better, you know, and, and that I've spent a lifetime in the community uh, with the, men and the young men and women uh, of East Bakersfield as students and now as parents and that I, I know the community. I, I've lived in my residence now for over 35 years. Uh, and I'm the, I'm the guy, that, the, light, the Christmas light guy at Christmas on the east side. If, you, if you've driven by a house that has a million lights like the Griswolds, that's my house. Uh, because I believe in the community. I remember as a kid, uh, you know, driving up Panorama and watching the, the Panorama lights. And wow, what was that cool? And, and you know, I wanted uh, my nephews and my nieces and uh, the, the population of the East Side to see that too, that to know that, you know, there is pride. We do feel very blessed to live in the East Side and that I've been there all my life. Uh, you know, I, I, Jeff's a wonderful guy, and I, I love him. He's been very, very polite and very uh, professional with, with us in our campaign. Um, but I bring that, that other, other politicians, other uh, people who are, are looking elsewhere to, to move, uh, that they don't. And so this, this is what, what I have. I have a heart for East Bakersfield, and I'm not leaving. I'm there. Mm-hmm. And I think I proved that over the years. What's interesting about this race is it's usually incumbent Vasquez mm-hmm. and the young Ger candidate trying mm-hmm. to upseed, you know, ups- yeah. to take out the old. traditional. Uh, well, going. you know, mo- <laughs> when you look at school boards, when you look at, right. you know, political races, mm-hmm. that's what's c- very interesting is that, right. um, you know, how this plays out, we'll have to see. But you have a younger can- a younger incumbent who's right. very political savvy, will mm-hmm. raise the money, will have the best team, will be able to. But can that translate to 35 years of name and family recognition right. in an area where you s- most of the time it's reversed, where mm-hmm. you have the more statesman, someone who's done um, the traditional um, role. And if you right. look at like Lillian Tofoya, mm-hmm. that type of person on the BCD, right. um, Bakersfield right. City School District Board. So this Russell is going to be pretty interesting to see yeah, it's, if it's the almost, Rocky Balboa, <laughs> right, <laughs> is going to be able to take on the young, uh, uh, you know, uh, who was the guy uh, he fought um, uh, in Rocky, 
uh, the uh, young son, right? I, I, it's fascinating. I, I am the last guy to ask about pop culture. <laughs> but, I, but you know, when you were talking about that, I kind of reckon yeah. back to your, your dad's race. R- d- 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 yeah. I was hoping not but to get there, but yeah, you're right. I mean, you know, Pete Parr, I'm not being biased here. He is the number 30 years in the exactly. county, Wonderful man. built things and did so much good work. And then you had a young guy, yeah. you know, who went and talked to people and raked their yeah. leaves and hustled. Yeah. Hustled. And right. was able to unseat a county supervisor. Right. So that actually begs a question. You know, it sounds like you know what you need to do. It sounds like you you obviously know you need to get out there and mm-hmm. work it and beat right. the bushes. Do you think you have the time to get out there and do that? I mean, you've got a full time job. I know your opponent has a full time job, but you've got to get out there. You got to be walking in the evenings. You got to be walking mm-hmm. in the in the weekends. Do you think you're going to have that time to mm-hmm. to go out there and do that? Well, you have to have it. There, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. You have to have that, and you have to have a good team, which I think I do, who uh, targets those things where you, you know what to do. Like, uh, you know, okay, you're gonna have to walk this area, this area, this area, or or we're gonna walk this area, this area. Why don't you be in front of the Albertson store tomorrow and hand out your your you know your flyers or whatever? Uh, but the thing that we have is that I know where people. Go, I, you know, like I say, the Albertsons on the weekend, uh, the Vallarta mm-hmm. on uh, on Sunday. Uh, you know, to 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 have that information, that knowledge over the years. You know, that's again, that's what I come with, and so knowing how to approach this, I think, has been really, really beneficial for us. So you mentioned that you you've got people you've been talking to, people mm-hmm. that have been supporting you. Um, who who are those people that are giving you campaign advice? Maybe. Are they friends of yours from within the district? Mm-hmm. Are they people you worked with, maybe former administrators or principals? Or are you getting campaign advice from someone with like some you know, seasoned political background who's like, Lee, you gotta do this, here's the voters you're gonna target, here's how you're gonna handle all that. Wh- Other who's than your uh, kitchen Professor uh, <laughs> Paro. Give me my two cents. <laughs> 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 yeah. Can I hire you, Nicole? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, no. You know, no, no, no. Uh, uh, we have all of those, what you've said. Uh, we've got our data guy uh, who is crunching numbers. We have our, our PR guy who's telling me, you know, what we've got to do. We've got a, you know, an ad agency that's working on the, uh, the, the posters and the flyers and all that. We also have ex-administrators who, and current administrators who are, are working with us. Uh, all of those, and we're going to be putting all of those individuals on our flyers when we get out who's endorsed us. But we've been uh, really, really uh, blessed with all those individuals who are coming our way. And, and, and the thing is, is once they know, oh, Lee, you're, you're running? Oh, gosh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Doggone, I got to get, you know, yes, yeah. I'll support you. You know, where do I send the check? And uh, thank you. Uh, so it's been that way uh, ever, ever since we've got into this. And it, it's kind of exciting. And, and, and there's others that said, I didn't know you were running, so I've already supported Jeff, you know. Right. And, so, and, that, and that, that's fine, too. Uh, uh, again, we are offering a difference. And that's because I know we can be a good district, a better district, and a great district. So uh, you talked earlier about your, your – your, uh, uh, familiarity with the Andre Gonzalez and kind mm-hmm. of talked a little bit about uh, coordinating or hopefully hoping to piggyback on his campaign. Are there other uh, candidates out there who you are also connected with who mm-hmm. uh, you're either have built friendships with over the years, you have mm-hmm. history with, who you kind of hope to connect with? Mm-hmm. Uh, let me be clear. Uh, Andre and I are just really good friends, friends. and Got I'm it. not not trying to piggyback on his campaign. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, but uh, Andre, if you're hearing, listening, <laughs> call me. Call me, buddy. No. <laughs> <laughs> you probably will. Yeah, call me, call me Andre. Uh, but no, I, and I just want to make that clear that okay. uh, he's just uh, one of our students that we're very proud of at East Bakersfield sure. High School. You know, and uh, uh, piggybacking on other. Uh, that's the difference. Uh, you know, I, I try to tell the people out there that's the difference. I'm not a politician. You know, I'm not trying to piggyback on, uh, on you know, other uh, campaigns or the, although, you know, I might, I, I certainly would consider it, uh, but I'm an educator and I can bring, I think, that knowledge best than anyone else that's running out there. And uh, I think when they know that they vote for me, they're voting for someone who is, who is seasoned, who knows how to, how to uh, approach education uh, reasonably and that can bring back, uh, you know, what the current high school district needs right now. And what does, I mean, that begs the question, what, mm-hmm. what, what uh, are you going to provide that is critical to change the current high school district into what it needs to be right now? We're going to bring back a sense of reasonableness, a sense of reason uh, to the board. Uh, you know, this, this infighting that, that we've seen and, and uh, uh, so many people that are, are um, disappointed with that. I think that uh, we need to, to, to let people know that 
you're okay with us. We're going to take care of with the money. We're going to be good stewards with that. We're going to be good stewards with the education for your kids. We're going to make certain that teachers have all the resources that they need so that when they get in the classroom, they can offer the best education possible. And we're going to help parents. You know, you're out there. We need your help. And we're going to support you in any way that we can. All right. And that kind of pulls us to the end of our show. Uh, thanks for joining us for Off the Press uh, with uh, Lee Vasquez. Uh, uh, candidate for Area 2 in the Kern High School District. And thanks to Russell and Nicole and Harold for your uh, questions and time. And we will see you again tomorrow at 3 p.m. on Bakersfield.com. We've got another show ready for you.